Well, teams are set to go here. This draw is about to pick up, and of course, Craig, as we talked about earlier, this uh, these officials also training here today, getting their level three certification so that they can officiate collegiate games. And looks like Riley Wilson with the Sun Devils able to come and pick up this first draw win for ASU. But swiftly turns it over to the Lopes on a errant pass. And right back into the stick of Taryn Gleesh. Got a whistle back at the midfield green card. Chris, for those of you who were not with us before, why don't you explain what a green card means for this game? Yeah, so again, you know, the, these players here at the college level get a green card, and the freshmen will be learning this as a new thing, difference from high school. But uh, if you get a physical foul in the midfield, you could take a green card in a one-minute penalty off-field. That's something different from the high school level. And we see we've already got the first one here. And I will say there's a little bit of a controversial rule change. There was definitely some college teams not happy when that rule went into effect a couple seasons back. Worried that it would really slow down the game and, and just extend the uh, the time. And a nice feed across Taryn Gleesh. Getting ASU on the board first. That certainly didn't take long, Chris, is ASU got on the board quickly and early. So with the early score, one to nothing. We do have the time up on the screen. We'll try to keep you updated. Unfortunately, the time is across the screen, or is across the field from us. And the scoreboard is rather small, and in this bright sunshine, we just cannot see what it says. So we'll try to be able to keep you updated as close as we can, and we try to keep the score available to you on the screen. And Gleesh with a great start here, gets another draw control for the Sun Devils. Feeds over to Bree Gardner, up to Kelsey Penta. And new to the team this year, Karina Velez coming over here on, I believe, her junior year. Transferring over from uh, Fairleigh Dickinson. I believe they're Division Two. It could be Division One. I. I can't remember, but I've been playing at the NCAA level, transferred over to ASU, but a local player here played on the Puerto Rico national team, and definitely a great addition to the Sun Devils squad. Wilson not quite able to handle the feed, ball down, and this GB picked up by the Lopes, but right back, Wilson right in there. And so far, Sun Devils really with some great ball control. What a look, and Taryn Gleesh is having a game. Absolutely. Makes the score two to nothing, Sun Devils. The ball has been down at that end of the field the entire game so far. So it's gotten off to a fantastic start for the Sun Devils. And I'll tell you, if I'm Coach Ramirez, right now my top concern is stopping number 33 on ASU. Well, one of the things that's obvious for the Sun Devils is they're having an awful lot of player movement. Player movement really is the key to this game. Is It's a substantial change from a high school game where you know, a lot of one-on-ones can be done, where a single player really can dominate. That just can't happen here at the club level or at any other level in college lacrosse. Would you agree, Chris? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and players definitely get hot and they go on runs, but teams adjust quickly. So, you know, and that's when uh, you start relying on the next weapon up. Caroline Kelly on the draw here for ASU. Against Breely Caffey, number five for GCU. Bree goes down this win by the Sun Devils over to Velez. 
once again the ball is back down here at the north end of the field being defended by GCU so all of the time of possession right now is with the Sun Devils. The Sun Devils are taking it around the far side now moving it to the near side of the field. With five minutes elapsed, Craig, GC is still looking for their first offensive possession. Blaz cuts in, has the ball checked out, ground path. GCU finally is able to pick it up. And Seaman it, loses the cradle for GCU. Picked up by Gardner on the Sun Devils. Up to Penta. Cuts through. Oh my, a shot was taken on the play. Let's see what the referees have blown their whistle. Let's see what the foul what the call is. See the goggles come off. It might just be the goggles coming off, Craig. They do have to stop that for safety. So it looks like Kelsey Penta going to get the free position restart on the 12 meter. I'll probably, I'll probably 
God forbid when my co-worker is on my Thank you. 